Sasame, Ayaka's little sister. She's sweet to a fault, but don't cross her. She's much more than she seems. Tenshi Muyo, starting Monday. Love sticks only to Nami. Warning, the following video contains false information and is meant for entertainment only. It also contains violence, sexual conduct, profane fucking language and annoying robotic text-to-speech voices. If you are offended by any of the above, get a fucking sense of humor. Your discretion is advised. Davis Crimshaw! And what brings you to the digital world? I'm here to finish my machine! What does this machine do? That's simple. You see, you put your hindquarters over here, you put your legs in these stirrups, and then BAM! Some of that action! It's designed to cure racism by turning everyone gay! How's that supposed to- Oh, that thought, little buddy. I wanna see where this goes. Really? I'm pretty much done. I just need to figure out how to email it to everybody. You're getting a little ahead of yourself, my friend. You should test it first. Right now. While we're watching. No need. I'm already gay as hell. I got this jacket on. The jacket is making you gay? Yeah. Yeah, kinda. The inside, anyway. See, this is my beat-off jacket. And I use it to catch my emissions. The whole thing is lined with my spunk. And every time I wear it, it's like I'm sexually assaulting myself! Ah, yeah, uh, yes! You know, I have a machine, too. I've designed it so that no human being ever has to walk or run again. Dude, that's awesome. Yes! Bring on the mariachi band! That's my mariachi! Bye! This is the secret diary of Sasagni Jurai, written and expressed by DW Forever 91. Enjoy the swellness of it. This video was brought to you by the Kid Drugs Contortionist Gin and Foot Sweat Ice Cream Emporium. For those hard to reach places during your mega stop stop sessions with multiple love partners, get your reach around with Kid Drugs. This establishment also serves as a branch of the Anything Goes School of Polytonic Martial Arts. Moreover, the Foot Sweat Ice Cream business is a joint collaboration with our corner alpha. Hobby's Polytonic Sweet Treats are courtesy of yours truly and the rest of the Bob Onion Beats and Nintendo Swell Subdivision and our Taste of Time Heaven. Well, moreover, we also sell my own personal product, Moon Milk Cheese, which are now made with not only vaginal juices, but also with Foot Sweat Tooth Jam and Petal Cream Cheese. Just my little way of giving back to both the lesbian community and foot fetish community. Smooch. Anyway, in with the show. Hello! My name is Sasami, Princess of the Planet Jirai, and I am a lolicon. Yes, I am a fact who is one adolescent female who must act her bed three times by age, and I love to spend most of my time flaunting my curvy underage body to all the creator rock and child chasers who choke their chickens to me whenever I show off my prepubescent goods. Yes! I actually have the pleasure of getting to biblically know all the older men in Japan, including that sexy, sexy Tenshi Masaki. Other love partners include such small jet stunts like Tuxedo Mask, Mihoji Kaji, Steve Mami Ozuno from Yuzi Yatsura, Guy UT from Shoujin Sentai Japan, Don Moroboshi from Ultra 7, the entire male sensei population of Kono Hagakuri, including the cast of Blizzard Pokate, and Hiro Yui from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. I am proud to say that I'm one of the first girls on the planet or even the galaxy to kiss their virginity goodbye before even reaching puberty. Yes, you heard me right. Why I have been violating my every pedestal in this small Japanese countryside alone at least twice, maybe even three times a week. I've gotten pregnant so many times I know all the doctors on a first name basis at my local abortion clinic. And you're probably wondering how I could survive so much physical abuse at such an age. Well, in addition to being an alien princess, who is actually older than she appears thanks to the miracle of suspended animation, I also happen to be an incarnation of Tsunami, one of the three Jiraiyan goddesses from Tenshi Muyo Yohoki. 
Yes, those of you familiar with episode 2 of our second OVA series know that I was seized with a scary tsunami after a tragic accident on my home planet. As a result, I was given godly powers that allowed me to create various incarnations of myself, some of them with the ability to become the magical girl called Pretty Sammy. Moreover, a lot of those Pretty Sammy versions of me make some top-notch child pornos. Wink. With a gentle touch of the keyboard, just click on Pretty Sammy. So yes, the other tsunamis of the franchise are around because of yours truly and my aforementioned godly powers. You could say me and the other goddesses are the true center of this franchise. Ha ha ha! But I know you didn't click on this video to hear me ramble on about my complex backstory. This is a secret diary after all and you're here for one particular reason, and that's to hear about my one feature that's worthy of anyone heritage, and that is my voluptuous adolescent feet. People and creatures of all ages come from far and wide just to hold on camp for my pure gifts from Lilith, and will even pay me for the privilege, but more on that later. My sister Ayaka claims to have the sexiest and smoothest looking feet on our entire planet, but that honor actually goes to yours truly, ha ha ha. Oh sweet Lilith, has my status been challenged yet again? <laughs> Various substances from my feet also make small ingredients for all the culinary masterpieces that I make in my spare time. Oh yeah, didn't I mention? I happen to be a small porn cook and spend most of my time preparing digit dishes and ashy aphrodisiacs for the Masaki family as well as all my DFX and clientele outside of the Masaki residence. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I am also a member of the pot affiliate group Team Takoon. Oh yeah, maybe, sharing a group with a legendary Pokemon Master Leader himself Ash Chechen is an especially sweet deal. After all, every panel glitch needs a princess, I just saw it, and we've got it in yours truly. Ash's partner down in Adam on the Dollar Group also takes its name safe, it's such the equally local legend as well, and the two of us also make the perfect panel pair. Yes, we never got it, is not receiving panel pleasure from his most loyal fans within the group. He is giving me the royal treatment, so to speak, as he massages and worships my high class pedals. But it's not all just a tempered life for this princess. Sometimes I like to get my feet dirty with some of my various pedal playmates. For example, there's our newest members and you'll try to enjoy that below cap DFX script from the Disney show Amphibia. Ah yes, playing the game of freeway fixy and co tag is so much more fun when you have someone with an extra long time to get into those hard to reach places. Next is Kali J by Fuck Metabox, better known as the Hadashi Shield, who despite her level 1 shoot, sells herself short on her own major port funds. Just last week we both came to visit to our other latest member George Sundram from the PDS show Arthur, and let's just say that now he gets featured in those deeds for good reason, think. Moreover, his members also make a great use for hard to reach places of haha. Next is Ed from Cowboy Block, who likes to play such slow fantastic games like Paddle Patty Cake, Toe Twister, Paddle Cheese Chess, and my personal favorite, Hide Your Shoes and Don't Seek, where you just hide your shoes and then instead of seeking you just spend the whole day doing each other soul scrubs. It's just as slow as it sounds. Next is Tiki the Witch from Tiki's Delivery Service, who is not only a great paddle playmate, but also is a great help when it comes to selling my corn confections to all my favorite customers. Again, more on that later. Kodana Izumi from Lucky Star is the perfect playmate when it comes to wanting to learn super weak for my coordination skills when playing fantastic video games. But by far my absolute favorite playmate in this group also happens to be one of the oldest members. Nope, not in. No, not in either. Um, I said one of the oldest members, not biggest. Come on, you know, he's got good looks and he's a pedophile. Oh, you're not even trying anymore. That guy's not even in our group for sheep's sake. I'll give you a hint. He's already engaged to an alien princess of his very own. That's right, it's Sakaru Moroboshi from Rosie Yatsura. You already heard me talk about Don Moroboshi earlier in the video, but his nephew from Hilda Towns on a whole new alien foot sexiness. Yes! Hold on, Don Moroboshi. The main protagonist from Ultra 7 who transforms into said title character, is your uncle. From my old man's side. Your father is Ultra 7's brother. Well congratulations, this hidden establishment reference makes about as much sense as my out of nowhere TTS voice changed. Erg. Hey you think that's confusing you should meet my American Jin cousin who happens to be an incarnation of a certain children's book I call Mahara. The hands and girls don't scare me. So I take it that's a yes to let me use your Ruby crew as a slipper? <laughs> BW Forever 91, we are the hot dog men. What's the point of all these cutaway gags? 
Who do you think you are, Seth MacFarlane? Stop pointlessly extending these videos and stick to one storyline for as well as say Say Rei Yoko-sama, have you ever wondered what making a pedal hot dog bun with an actual hot dog would feel like? Why no I haven't yet so but now that you mention it that does sound very tempting. But seriously folks, how do he worships the ground that I walk on and is such a gentleman to do the hair hoot. Plus the slow way he dances really gets my juices flowing and both my feet and like it through gigs of sexual ecstasy. But that's not even the best part. You know Tarun's Yo Harum, the one that not only has lovely leg ladies from our own little group, but from other groups as well. Well it just so happens there's a special in the harem that is dedicated to yours truly and all the other versions of myself from all parts of the franchise. It also serves as a special meeting place, or clubhouse if you will, where me and the other tsunamis, tsunamis, and pretty sadies get together to swap stories about our favorite BFFs throughout the franchise and make course to conduct our small business. As I mentioned before, I am a poor crook and spend most of my time making digit dishes and ushy aphrodisiacs for all my BFFs, and even selling said confections to eager clientele for a pedal profit. Like I said, it's in addition to delivery which is a big help when it comes to selling my small pro treats. The profits we do make selling my delectable foot food go to various charitable organizations dedicated to poor pomosoyaks who can't get any satisfaction and child star green robbers who just want some young love. Same goes for my other occupation in the community, which brings us to my earlier statement in the video. You all know about the OT, and how she serves as an object of affection when I am at my playfully horny east and have no other love partners around. Well that is true for the most part, but the OT is more than just a love pet, and you're better to explain than the Kang herself. Alright little mama, get out here and lay down some whole truth on our sexy viewers. <laughs> Ha ha ha, hello my name is Ryoki the Cabbage creation of Washu Hat Kubi and the BFF to Sasa Major I. Anyways, you might be interested to know that I can make clones of myself, thanks to the swell fact that I was created using the DNA of the single cell aquatic species known as Mess. Remember the scene in the OVA episode Night Before the Carnival, which featured a number of Ryoki clones? Well that was the handiwork of yours truly, sending myself to other parts of the franchise to perform my various tasks. And you probably guessed by now that since I was also created using the DNA of Washu Hakubi, means that I am also a high mind just like my mother, and you'd be bang that carrot in my furry love hole on right in that regard, yes. But let's get back to the point shall we? Like Sasa and he said earlier I'm not just a love pet to her royal sexiness, you see, I also happen to be her him. What a twist! You heard me right folks, I am pimping out not only the sasami of this secret diary, but also every other sasami, tsunami, and pretty sammy throughout this entire franchise. And since I am a hard mind with an army of clone vessels I can be everywhere at once with my favorite mandible masters to sell them out, as prostitute prodigies. There's a reason she called me little mama just before passing the mic, Link. In fact the personal branch of the Moroboshi harem that sasami mentioned earlier on, is also doubling as a form of Knight's Mega Brothel. And yes, to answer your next question I am providing my pimping services to every sanction of the four pimp knights. My credentials as a badass are already assured, since my mass abilities also allow me to change my shape and take on the form of spaceships and giant mechas. Even taking on humanoid form is no hard task when given the right motivation hahaha. <laughs> Everybody got that? I get it! I don't get it! Yes the pimping life is sure a sweet deal indeed. But selling her digit delicacies and herself out for sexual service is only the tip of the iceberg. There's also all the commercial endorsements, love doll merchandising, holiday promotions, and center folds she poses for in various child porn illustrations. Why she even has her own personal edition of foot cappers for Lilith's sake. Oh my, and just when I think Sasami couldn't get any more car why? Hi I think I'm falling in love all over again ho ha ha. But I think I've talked long enough, back to you Sasami my pedal princess. Yes, thanks for that slow it would have happened with my ever growing status. Now if you I would like to talk a little about some of my favorite BFFs outside of Team Tycoon. Firstly, there's Miss Salamano from the Pretty Sammy series. Oh yes, the two of us have quickly become the best of foot friends, since the pretty savvy win in the franchise put off. Moreover, she's got quite the major pair of jump jumplings. That reminds me, like Sasami and her various incarnations, Miss Sal also happens to be a prostitute, pimped out by Ramya and her little brother Rumia from the Pretty Sammy series, both of which represent the East Blue Equinox. But that's not all, when Rumia uses his magic on Miss Sal, she transforms into the magical Jiglo Pixie Misa. Her pixie beza form is quite a sight to behold, with an even sexier set of drumsticks to top it off. Moreover, as pixie beza, she also represents the East Blue Equinox as one of its badass jumpers. 
With a very distinct blood on boxers at her disposal, no one would be fool enough to pull a fast one on her. And as you may have guessed, both pretty savvy and pixie beans will make the perfect pair when it comes to arousing child chasers and nerdy otakus. Wink. Next, we have a kid version of Chuck Spleef, who hails from the Junior Branch of the Ketchum Clan. Since he also happens to come from low hairs, giving the son of an airy prince, we got no one quite low. We play some of the sexiest games of extreme footsies and pickle fights this side of the galaxy and it never gets old a haha. But the thing I like best is when he goes all super saving and scrubs me down with his rapid glowing souls, which feels so invigorating it makes me feel like a bowl of vanilla pudding. Moreover, he's really gotten good at reaching some of my key spots since he started that contortionist gym and we've been all the time since. Wink. Okay, for the record, the contortionist gym was actually my idea, but considering that my devil fruit powers made the concept redundant, not to mention it would have given an unfair advantage, I decided to give Trunks the sponsorship instead. Which works out for the best since my gum gum loof is still selling like hotcakes. Um, right. Now to keep this Dragon Ball baby train moving, let's give a shout out to my other rough around the edges DSF can. Pretty much the only good thing to come out of GT. Yes, this feisty little firecracker happens to be a freedom fighter in the Fatasphone resistance, and has some bad potophilic martial arts skills caught to her by her father Sun Gohan. Chan tells me she is thinking of teaming up with a potophiliac liberation group like Eldem. HMM, if memory serves me correctly, I think one of the versions of my sister Ayuk is part of that lot as well. Speaking of potophilic martial arts, one of our other members, Yana Kandahara, happens to let her own little dojo in Team Takuin. And the reason I bring this up is because her closest BFF is Stitch, who is also the joint at the heel pen of the Ketchum Clan member Rilo Pelote from Rilo and Stitch, another closed BFF to yours truly. As you may have guessed, me and Rilo like to take both Rilo OT and Stitch on paddle play dates, and it gets real exciting, let me tell you. Wait. And finally, there's Dot. And I don't just need Buddy Dot and Team Takoon, I need all of the Dots. Yes, he as well has all the other Sasabis in the franchise and become quite biblical with the dots of the Speakphobia community, and that includes the woman the Marley Bunch. That's right, bitches. One of these pretty Samis is actually a pretty Samuel with a 100 mile long magic wand. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, baby, we're trying to make our opportunities as equal as possible. In fact, we've been considering forming our own little club or special society where all the Sasabis, Tsunamis, and pretty Samis, and even our real OT scan all can be and conduct business with one another. This is just a prototype, but you get the general idea. But seriously, all this talk about all my BFFs across the community, my separate incarnations, my various occupations and business ventures, and even my possible future plans for the community is making me so all money. I'd really like to get my toes wet with someone's genitalia right now. Yes, that would be so weird. Well, you're in luck, Sassany, cause it just so happens that I have some clientele lined up for you, waiting to get some royal satisfaction from a young princess. Yes. What's that? You say you got some customers eager to get to know my regal powers? Oh yes, that sounds like a small sexy time alright. Oh I so hope it's an older gentleman caller. I'd really like to feel someone's mature love sausage slide between my underdeveloped Alex Sahara. Hmm, well I don't know about any older gentleman, but it looks like one of these customers has a massive love sausage between his liberal drumsticks to have your swell way with. See for yourself. Ha ha ha, yes princess, my name is Hawkmon from the second series of Digimon Adventure and I'm here to celebrate my recent return from beyond the grave by having my swell way with the Katwai anime princess. You see, sometime during the events of our series I was put out of my misery when I found out that my Digidestant partner turned out to be a lesbian and wanted nothing to do with me. But ever since her recent change of heart she brought back yours truly to be redigidestined with her, the way it was meant to be. Speaking of which here is my now joined at the heel digidestined BFF who's also interested in your services. Hi princess, everything Hotmon told you is true. I revived my sexy Digimon partner since I was recently pulled further out of the shoe closet by my new seven to ten adoptions. Holy shit! You're, you're not going to go away! My favorite female character from Digimon of Nature Zero 2! Oh my, it looks like my reputation precedes me once again, haha. <laughs> but yes, I'm Miyako Ino way better known as Yui. Outside of Japan, and I'm sure you might recall me once being a member of the Petty Bunch. But like I said, that was before I got to know the lovely Trunstick Dancers from our subdivision Akane Alpha. And after opening my eyes to the tender toes, I've been brought in my two gifts, the Lilith to both guys and gals alike. And to answer your question, Yes I admit I have the hot 
Or can he teach your tea? In fact, if you were still the digital emperor, I'd be ripping off his clothes with my pancake kicks this very second. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Ah! Oh, damn it! But, anyways, aside from my recently reacquainted love pet Hawkmon, there is another ego little porn critter who's been giving me plenty of satisfaction. Oh, speak of the devil, here she is right now. Oh, sweet myself. Who? Who is this little cutie? Ha ha ha. Good day there, princess. My name is Marcia Marsupial Mouse, and I'm coming ha ha, coming off fresh from my debut appearance in the secret missing episode of Pinky Bell. And in case you noticed the change of voice that matches the one of my real life counterpart, you may have also guessed that like my bunion bondage master Yo Li I too made the switch over to our subdivision Macar Net Alpha after becoming a born again footster. You can thank Cleo from Heathcliff for that sudden transformation. Wink. By the way, I was inside one of Yo Li's shoes for those of you who were wondering where I was this whole time. Hello, Ellen. Hello, Ellen. Hello, Ellen. I'm sure all of us will definitely get our drink soon enough as we make some random mischief tonight. Man, I haven't been this excited since me and this sound in a love invader cosplay at the last Nova BT Halloween party, haha. And yes, all this talk about hiding in people's shoes and causing mandible mischief is starting to remind me of I want true love, that sexy male cat beat Kanoki from the first series of Kenji Muyo slash Tenchi Universe series. It's a shame that he works for Doggy the Bunyan Bounty Hunter, that monoto bitch who can't even keep to one TTS voice like that Sentai Spank Reader Kwasa, but hopefully one day he will break free from the binds of his heel having obligations and the two of us can finally live the life we always dreamed about, maybe even settle down and get married raising a family somewhere in a small Japanese countryside and start a carrot farm. Get with it. Yes, get over it! Well, I guess that's the fourth wall's way of telling me that I dragged out this video long enough, so I say we wrap it up right here. Yes, besides I really really want to crawl around inside Sasami's shoes and breath in the regal scent until I pass out in Bonza sexual ecstasy. Oh fair dinkum that will be so true blue swell. Yeah, now that's a swell sexy time that I can get behind Hahaya. So what are we waiting for? Let's get behind Sasami and you those poor fun to work out. Oh my, something tells me I'm in for a loyal treatment, and if I'm lucky and loyal plus, wink. Anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next exciting installment of Speakonia Booyo. Good morning, plus for all you are worshippers of my sexy, sexy sheet. And be sure to catch you, Lee and me in our very own secret diary video somewhere down the line on this channel. Haru for now, foot fappers, and have a happy holiday and all that good shit, ha ha ha. Sucker work! Hello? Buddy? Hey there! This is Washu Hecute, better known as a Little Washu, and I'd like to announce my latest line of Sammy wear, the bedwear that is sure to attract any pedophile or lollicon looking for some tender underage moppin' and is the latest product endorsement from Medical Mechanica. Oh sweet Lily, how did I ever get roped into agreeing to this shit? This outfit really doesn't leave much to the imagination. Bad, this is like being a horny little kid again, Kione. Yeah, I haven't felt this to me since I saw you, because Nick's building those people with Rapsco, why the hell? Alright ladies, Let's smile for the camera cause we have about 16 9 more commercials to go ha ha ha. Have you all got your dildos? Good. Be sure to leave them in your ass and or vagina at night. <laughs> <laughs>